Well, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex uh, Kickstarter video where I take a look at three of the major currency pairs to start your, your trading day. So let's get started. We got a, a slew of economic data and uh, uh, an interest rate decision by the ECB that uh, has uh, been driving the uh, market markets. Uh, uh, we are seeing the euro versus US dollar uh, trading uh, lower here as a uh, Lagarde uh, press conference is underway and she's going through her uh, remarks. Before answering questions, the market is taking a little bit of a uh, dovish stance here. We do go to a lower here, and we are trying that right now. The 200-day uh, uh, moving average becomes the next key target. Recall from last week, the uh, low prices here uh, found uh, support buyers against the level and moved higher against that level. In trading this week on uh, Tuesday, as a matter of fact, the price fell below that level but uh, could not sustain momentum, reestablish support before moving higher. So that 200-day moving average would become the key target at 1.0845. If we go below that level, I'm going to put to the four-hour chart. The uh, next uh, target comes against this swing area here between 1.0803 and 1.0824. Below that is a 50% retracement of the move up from the October low. That's just uh, actually, that's, yeah, October low to the uh, December high. That level comes in at 1.09, uh, 1.07936. So uh, progression goes to the 200-day two, moving average and then the swing area down here, here, and the 50% retracement. Uh, if we uh, take a look at uh, and move uh, to the upside again, I'm going to go back to the hourly chart here, and we uh, we uh, move back above the 100 and 200 uh, hour moving average. Uh, the next uh, target would probably be this level right through here near 1.0910. Uh, that level corresponds corresponds with uh, this low right here, uh, this low right here, and uh, these highs uh, through here. Uh, and even here, we went a little bit above, but then failed uh, on the break of the 200 and this line. Yesterday, we moved higher and we saw increased momentum, but then could not sustain the momentum and reestablish resistance here. So getting above 1.0910 would open the door for uh, further upside uh, for this uh, currency pair. We would uh, then move into this uh, swing area, basically encompassing this area right through here where we saw lots of ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs uh, with the uh, high, high price uh, target at the uh, double top up here. Uh, where we had a, a, a different high right here and high right here at 1.0998. So uh, uh, downside, I uh, get through the 200, through this trend trend line, 50%, 100-day moving average upside, get above the 109.10 level, opens the door further upside, up, perhaps up to 1.0998, depending upon what Lagarde says. Let's take a look at the dollar versus yen next. And uh, again, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at the hourly chart in this uh, pair. And what we've seen over the last oh, five or six or so days is a consolidation. Most of that consolidation has uh, taken place between uh, this uh, high at 148.59 and uh, you know maybe around this level right through here. Here we did see an extension to the downside here, so an extension to the upside here and here. But most of the price action is sort of between 140, let's say 147 and 148.59. Uh, as you can see, uh, similar to what we saw in the hourly chart of the euro versus U.S. dollar, there's lots of moving averages in play where, with the uh, price action today. Uh, for the most part, the 100-hour moving average has held resistance on the top side. We saw a spike up there and then a rotation back to the downside. The 100-day moving average and the rising 200-hour moving average are also in play. And with the current price trading at 147.42, uh, the sellers are trying to make a play below those two moving average levels for traders looking for um, a low risk trading opportunity with hopes uh, of further downside momentum. Staying below the 147.56 is the close risk level for them. Uh, if we, if we uh, get, stay below that level or we look toward the 147 level, that's around this lo level right through here. And then we'll look down toward this uh, swing area here. Uh, where we had uh, it goes back and back in time through here and here and here and here uh, here uh, and here but uh, th those levels come at 146 of 53 to 65 finally let's uh, take a look at the uh, sterling versus US dollar again I'll focus on the uh, five on the hourly chart. And if we take a look at this uh, uh, pair, the uh, lots of uh, price action uh, in between this area right through here. Uh, the price extended to the upside here. We went a little bit below the levels through here. But for the most part, lots of ups and downs. And in between sits the uh, 100 and 200 hour moving averages. Those levels uh, come here and here. And the low price in trading here today stalled against the 200 hour moving average, keeping the buyers in play. That's on the current hourly bar. On the uh, dip to the downside, that level came in at 126.93, 95, 
and the price is currently trading at 127.35. So there is more of a, a bullish bias here, a, do, a dollar selling. Uh, so um, we, uh, this this level is now risk defining level. Stay above is more bullish. Move below is more bearish right now. The buyers are more in control in the sterling versus U.S. dollar. Uh, one final look at the, the uh, euro versus U.S. dollar. The press conference continues for Lagarde, and uh, uh, she has uh, started to take some questions and answers. And uh, the price is remaining below the 100 and 200 hour moving average, keeping the bears more in control. So there you have it. A look at the uh, three major currency pairs to start your trading day. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.